everybody and welcome back to Religion Week TV episode 204 of the Morning Read. I'm your host Drew and we sip all the spirituality tea we can over here because my spiritual ears say. Yes guys, let's get into this disclaimer. It's all fair use which is enlightening the people over here with the word of God our faith's ability you can go subscribe to my channel at religion wink tv you can like share this video and my channel and you can also hit that notification bell and select all to be a part of the wink squad wink nation over here and uh what we do is shine our light bright okay if you want you can get over to teesprings.com and pick you up some merch over there because winksters we lace we're looking at you side-eyed if you have anything to do with the oppression of god's people and the destruction of his word now we know some people like to get up and read people to filth right so we chose on march 2nd 2019 to get up and read people to life life more abundantly according to the word john 14 and 6 christ is the way the truth and the life and except a man come through him he can they cannot see the kingdom of heaven via channels like religion week tv and others like mine feeding the sheep so with that being said we also know some people cannot physically see they cannot read and others refuse to pick up the bible and fellowship with the most high god through his word because of church hurt and abuse by other people in the church so when the music ends we're going to go ahead and get into episode 204 of the morning read it was due for september 12th we're going to read ezekiel chapters 40 41 and 42 so with that being said let's go ahead and get into this and i hope you get something out of it because it's one thing being in the word of god but when the word of god is not in you that's where people fall you're watching religion link tv i'm your host spirituality and drew as well and my spiritual ears stay <laughs> right into chapter 40 of ezekiel verse 1 let's read in the five and twentieth year of our captivity in the beginning of the year in the tenth day of the month in the fourteenth year after that, the city was smitten. In the same self day, the hand of the Lord was upon me and brought me thither. Two, in the visions of God brought he me into the land of Israel and set me upon a very high mountain by which was the frame of a city on the south. Three, and he brought me thither and behold, there was a man whose appearance was like the appearance of brass with a line of flax in his hand and a measuring reed. And he stood in the gate. Sound like a prophecy here of the Most High God of Yahweh. We got to see. Four, and the man said unto me, Son of man, behold with thine eyes and hear with thine ears and set thine heart upon all that I shall shew thee. For to the intent that I might shew them unto thee art thou brought hither. Declare all that thou seest to the house of Israel. 5. And behold a wall on the outside of the house round about. And in the man's hand a measuring reed of six cubits long by the cubit and a hand breadth. So he measured the breadth of the building one reed and the height one reed. 6. Then came he unto the gate which looked toward the east, and went up the stairs thereof, and measured the threshold of the gate, which was one reed broad, and the other threshold of the gate, which was one reed broad. 7. And every little chamber was one reed long, and one reed broad, and between the little chambers were five cubits. The threshold of the gate by the porch of the gate within was one reed. 8. He measured also the porch of the gate within one reed. Nine. Then measured he the porch of the gate. Eight cubits on the post thereof. Two cubits in the porch of the gate was inward. And the little chambers 
of the gate eastward were three on this side and three on that side. They were three of one measure in the post and one measure on this side and on that side. Verse 10 says, verse 11, and he measured the breadth of the entry of the gate, 10 cubits. And the length of the gate, 13 cubits. We're on verse 12 and we have to go over to 49. Verse 12. The space also before the little chambers was one cubit on this side. And the space was one cubit on that side. And the little chambers were six cubits on this side. And six cubits on that side. 13. He measured them the gate from the roof of one little chamber to the roof of another. The breadth was five and twenty cubits, door against door. I don't know. This just sounds like those slave ships. I can imagine those stalls or those cubicles was not that big. And there might have been 10, 20, 50 people piled high on top of each other. I'm just saying, stacked up. In these little cubicles. I'm just, I don't know. Uh, 14. He made also posts of three score cubits. Even unto the post of the court round about the gate. 15. And from the face of the gate of the entrance. Unto the face of the porch of the inner gate. Were 50 cubits. 16. And there were narrow windows. To the little chambers. And to their posts within the gate round about. And likewise to the arches. And windows were round about inward, and upon each post were palm trees. 17. Then brought me he, then brought he me into the outward court. And lo, there were chambers in the pavement made for the court round about. 30 chambers were upon the pavement. 18. And the pavement by the side of the gates over against the length of the gates were the lower pavement. Pavement. Pavement, excuse me, 19. Then he, then he measured the breadth from the forefront of the lower gate unto the forefront of the inner court without an hundred cubits eastward and northward. 20. And the gate of the outward court that looked toward the north, he measured the length thereof and the breadth thereof. 21. And the little chambers thereof were three on this side and three on that side. And the posts thereof and the arches thereof were after the measure of the first gate. The length thereof was 50 cubits and the breadth 50 and 5 cubits. 22. And their windows and their arches and their palm trees were after the measures of the gate that looked toward the east. And they went up. Unto it by seven steps, and the arches thereof were before them. 23. And the gate of the inner court was over against the gate toward the north and toward the east, and he measured from gate to gate an hundred cubits. 24. After that he brought up to me up brought me toward the south and behold the gate toward the south and he measured the post thereof and the arches thereof according to these measures 25 and there were windows in it and the arches thereof round about like those windows the length was 50 cubits and the breadth 50 and 20 cubits and the breadth 5 and 20 cubits excuse me 26 and there were seven steps to go up to it and the arches thereof were before them and it had palm trees one on this side and another on that side upon the posts thereof 27 and there was a gate in the inner court toward the south and he measured from gate to gate toward the south a hundred cubits and hundred cubits 28 and he brought me to the inner court by the south gate. And he measured the south gate according to, to those measurements. 29. And we have to go to 49. And the little chambers thereof of the post thereof and the arches thereof according to these measures. And there were windows in it and the arches thereof round about. It was 50 cubits long and 5 and 20 cubits broad. 30. And the arches round about were five and twenty cubits long and five cubits broad. 31. And the arches thereof were toward the outer utter court. And palm trees were upon the posts thereof. And the going up to it had eight steps. Now prior, seven steps, right? 
32. He brought up. He brought me into the inner court. Toward the east. And he measured the gate according to these measures. 33. And the little chambers thereof. And the posts thereof. And the arches thereof. Were according to these measures. And their windows therein. And in the arches thereof round about. It was 50 cubits long. And 5 and 20 cubits broad. 34. And the arches thereof were toward the outward court, and palm trees were upon the post thereof, on this side and on that side, and the going up to it had eight steps. So the first two were like seven, and then coming around again, it's like eight, and who knows, probably going around and maybe nine, just so it could kind of increase in height. I'm not sure. Let's continue to read. 35... And he brought me to the north gate and measured it according to these measures. 36. The little chambers thereof, the posts thereof, and the arches thereof, and the windows to it round about. The length was 50 cubits, and the breadth 5 and 20 cubits. 37. And the posts thereof were toward the utter court, and palm trees were upon the posts thereof, on this side and on that side. And the going up to it had eight steps. 38. And the chambers and the entries thereof were by the post of the gates when they washed the burnt offerings. 39. And we have 10 verses to go. And in the porch of the gate were two tables on this side and two tables on that side to slay thereon the burnt offering and the sin offering and the trespass offering. 40. And at that side without was one goeth up to the entry of the north gate were two tables, and on the other side, which was at the porch of the gate, were two tables. 41. Four tables were on this side and four tables on that side. By the side of the gate, eight tables were upon. They slew their sacrifices. 42. And the four tables were of hewn stone for the burnt offerings of a cubit of a half long and a cubit and a half broad and one cubit high. Whereupon also they laid the instruments wherewith they slew the burnt offering and the sacrifice. 43. And within were hooks and hand broad fastened round about and upon the tables was the flesh of the offering. 44. And without... The inner gate were the chambers of the singers in the inner court, which was at the side of the north gate, and their prospect was toward the south, one at the side of the east gate having the prospect toward the north. 45, and he said unto me, This chamber, whose prospect is toward the south, is for the priest, the keepers of the charge of the house. 46, and the chambers whose prospect is toward the north is for the priests, the keepers of the charge of the altar. These are the sons of Zadok among the sons of Levi, which come near to the Lord to minister unto him. 47. So he measured the court a hundred cubits long and a hundred cubits broad, four square in the altar that was before the house, before the temple is translated. 48. And he brought me to the porch of the house and measured each post of the porch, five cubits on this side and five cubits on that side. And the breadth of the gate was three cubits on this side and three cubits on that side. 49. The length of the porch was 20 cubits and the breadth 11 cubits. And he brought me by the steps whereby they went up to it. And there were pillars by the post, one on this side and one on the other side. And we're going to go ahead and get right into 41. <laughs> Chapter 41, verse 1, and we have 26 to go. Afterward, he brought me to the temple and measured the post six cubits broad on one side and six cubits broad on the other side, which was the breadth of the tabernacle. 2. And the breadth of the door was ten cubits, and the sides of the door were five cubits on the one side, and five cubits on the other side. Is this the prophecy of Ezekiel before Solomon built the temple? It's just a question. 
Please feel free to comment down below. We're a little bit below 15 minutes coming up on upon 15 minutes in about 8 seconds, 7 seconds, 6 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bingo. 15 minutes in. And we are on verse 3. Then when he inward and measured the post of the door, two cubits, and the door six cubits, and the breadth of the door seven cubits. Four, so he measured the length thereof twenty cubits, and the breadth twenty cubits before the temple. And he said unto me, This is the most holy place. Again, was this prophesied to Ezekiel prior to Solomon building the temple? Five, after he measured the wall of the house six cubits and the breadth of every side chamber four cubits round about the house on every side. Six, and the side chambers were three, one over another, and thirty in order. And they entered into the wall which was of, which was of the house for the side chambers round about, that they might have, have hold, but they had not hold in the wall of the house. Seven. And there was an enlarging and a winding about still upward to the side chambers. For the winding about the house went still upward round about the house. Therefore the breadth of the house was still upward. So increased from the lowest chamber to the highest by the mist. I told you that. It was like, you know, you set a foundation and then you go up one to make it go around. Then you go up one to make it go around. You go up one. This is amazing, people. Verse 8, I saw also the height of the house round about. The foundations of the side chambers were a full reed of six great cubits. 9, the thickness of the wall, which was for the side chamber without, was five cubits. That was left was the place of the side chambers that were within. 10, and between the chambers was the wideness of 20 cubits round about the house on every side. 11. And the doors of the side chambers were toward the place that was left. One door toward the north and another door toward the south. And the breadth of the place that was left was five cubits round about. 12. Now the building that was before the separate place at the end toward the west was 70 cubits broad. And the wall of the building was five cubits thick round about. And the length thereof 90 cubits. 13 and we have to go to 26 so he measured the house in 100 cubits long in the separate place and the building with the walls thereof 100 cubit long 100 cubits long 14 also the breadth of the face of the house and of the separate place toward the east in 100 cubits 15 and he measured the length of the building over against the separate place which was behind it. And the galleries thereof on the one side and on the other side. And a hundred cubits with the inner temple and the porches of the court. 16. The doorposts and the narrow windows and the galleries round about on their three stories over against the door. Sealed with wood round about and from the ground up to the windows and the windows were covered. 17. To that above the door, even unto the inner house and without and by all the wall round about within and without by measure. 18. And it was made with cherubims and palm trees so that a palm tree was between a cherubim, cherub and a cherub and every cherub had two faces. 19. So that the face of a man was toward the palm tree on the one side and the face of a young lion toward the palm tree on the other side. It was made through all the house round about. Verse 20. From the ground unto above the door were cherubims and palm trees made and on the wall of the temple. 21. The posts of the temples were squared and the face of the sanctuary and the appearance of the one as the appearance of the other. 22. The altar of wood was three cubits high and the length thereof two cubits. And the corners thereof and the length thereof and the walls thereof were of wood. And he said unto me, this is the table that is before the Lord. 
23. And the temple in the sanctuary had two doors. 24. And the doors had two leaves apiece. Two tuning, turning leaves. Two leaves for one door and two leaves for the other door. 25. And there were made on them on the doors of the temple cherubims and palm trees like as were made upon the walls. And they were thick planks upon the face of the porch without. In the last verse of this read, verse chapter 41, verse 26. And there were narrow windows and palm trees on the one side and on the other side, on the sides of the porch and upon the side chambers of the house and the thick planks. And we're going right into 42. And we only have 20 verses to go. Let's read. And we're only 20 minutes and 37 seconds in, guys. Yes. So verse 1 of chapter 42 says, Then he brought me forth into the utter court, the way toward the north. And he brought me into the chamber that was over against the separate place, and which was before the building toward the north. 2. Before the length of the hundred cubits was the north door, and the breadth was fifty cubits. 20. 3. Excuse me. 3. Over against twenty cubits, which were for the inner court, and over against the pavement, which was for the utter court, was gallery against gallery in these three stories. <coughs> excuse me. 4. And before the chambers was a walk of ten cubits breadth. Inward, a way of one cubit in their doors toward the north. Five. Now the upper chambers were shorter, for the galleries were higher than these, than the lower, and the middlemost of the building. Six. For they were in three stories, but had not pillars as the pillars of the courts. Therefore the building was straightened more than the lowest and middlemost from the ground. Seven. And the wall that was with it without over against the chambers toward the utter court of the far four part four part of the chambers, the length thereof was fifty cubits. Eight. For the length of the chamber that were in the utter court was fifty cubits, and lo before the temple were in hundred cubits. Nine. And from under the, these chambers was the entry of the east side as one goeth into them from the other court. 10. And we have to go to verse 20. The chambers were in the thickness of the wall of the court toward the east, over against the separate place, and over against the building. 11. And the way before them was like the appearance of the chambers which were toward the north, as long as they, and as broad as they, and all their goings out were going, were both according to their fashions, and according to their doors. Verse 12. And according to the doors of the chambers that were toward the south door was a door in the head of the way, even the way directly before the wall toward the east, as one entereth into them. 13. Then said he unto me, The north chambers and the south chambers, which were before the separate place, they be holy chambers, where the priest that approach unto me, the Lord, shall eat the most holy things. There shall they lay the most holy things, and the meat offerings, and the sin offerings, and the trespassing, trespass, trespass offerings, for the place is holy. 14. When the priests enter therein, then shall they not go out of the holy place into the utter court, but there they shall lay their garments within the ministers, for they are holy, and shall put on other garments, and shall approach to those things which are for the people. Verse 15. It goes on to say. Now when he had made an end of measuring the inner house. And brought me forth toward the gate. Whose prospect is toward the east. And measured it round about. 16. He measured the east side with a measuring reed. 500 reeds with a measuring reed round about. 17. He measured the north side 500 reeds with a measuring reed round about. 18. He measured the south side 500 reeds with the measuring reed. 19. He turned about to the west side and measured 500 reeds with the measuring reed. 
20. In the last verse, let me make sure of the morning read. Verse 20 in chapter 42 of Ezekiel. He measured it by four sides. He had a wall around about. 500 reeds long and 500 broad, uh, um, 500 broad to make a separation between the sanctuary and the profane place, which is the common place. And guys, this ends the morning read. I pray that you all all being filled today, you know, every day that you come and click on my videos and listen to me, you know, read the word and get some kind of explanation. There wasn't much to explain in Ezekiel 40 through 42. That would be chapter 40, 41 and 42. It was just a vision he basically had of this temple. And I ask you, did the temple, did the vision of this temple come before Solomon even built the first real temple of the Lord? Let me know what you think about that. Also, we're going to come back, right back and read Ezekiel 43, 44, and 45, which should not be that long. So I'm not going to tarry here much longer. It looks like we got done in about... 26 set minutes 26 minutes right now guys so i'm gonna go ahead and say let the word of god be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your pathways according to psalms 119 and 105 wherever you step it will be bright and wherever he leads you by his spirit you begin to shine his light now if you guys are tired of hearing me talk about all of this please get yourselves over to amazon.com for all your reading needs you can get baby books, you can get Christmas books with a twist, you can get um, Black Lives Matter, Beyond Some of the First Protests, A Call to Repentance, In the Eyes of God, Black Lives Matter, Now and Then. And it wouldn't be worth anything going over there if you couldn't get your spirituality. So you can pick up a book called The Chronicles of Falling from Greece, The Falls of the Bible and Son of My Own, okay? And then you can also pick up a book called Peace I Speak to the Three Part Me. Now with that being said, guys, you can also donate, donate, donate to Dollar Sign Religion Wing TV through Cash App. And you can also PayPal me at Drew L. Murray 50 on the PayPals, okay? Donations are not required, but are greatly appreciated when accepted. Thank you so much for tuning in to this edition of The Morning Read, episode 204, Ezekiel chapters 40 through 42. Shalom, everybody. God bless you. You've been watching Religion Week TV and my spiritual ears. Stay. Peace, everybody. And I hope you pray. I hope and pray that you have a, you know, a blessed day. Thank you.